start recording so in previous class we have uh, completed uh, the starting of this uh, particular unit that is the uh, what is transient analysis that we have covered and um, um, how the basic components behaves for this uh, transients so like resistance inductor and capacitor so resistance there is no problem for resistor um, it immediately reacts with all the sudden changes okay but inductor and capacitor their property is not like this inductor opposes instantaneous changes in current whereas capacitor opposes instantaneous changes in the voltage right now what do you mean by this that is we, we have considered two cases say case 1 and case 2 case 1 is say the supply voltage or source it is not at all connected to the component for a long time and suddenly at time t equal to 0 we have connected that particular component to the source so what will happen it will add, now for inductor it will act as open circuit immediately after the switching and if you you will place this particular switch for a long time then uh, after a long time that particular switch or that uh, particular inductor will act as a short circuit so that is case number 1 and for capacitor the same case is the capacitor if it is open, kept open for a long time and we have shorted that switch means we have connected that uh, capacitor to supply or source then immediately after the connection it will act as if it is a open circuit and after a long time so if we have kept it for a infinite amount of time then that capacitor will act as if it is a open circuit okay so this is these are the two uh, opposite cases for inductor and capacitor that is case 1 now case 2 is exactly opposite to that that is the uh, source is connected to inductor or capacitor for a long time and at time t equal to 0 you have opened that so if you will open that switch that means you have removed the supply or source then in that case for such sudden transition or transient inductor will act as if it is a current source and capacitor will act as if it is a voltage source okay so this is immediate reaction after time t equal to 0 you have switched on uh the switch okay we have made the transition then immediately after t equal to 0 that is t equal to 0 plus at that time current uh, the inductor will act as if it is a current source whereas capacitor will act as if it is a voltage source and if you will keep this condition for a long time then at the infinite time inductor will act as if it is a short circuit and capacitor will act as if it is a open circuit so i hope these characteristics of this uh, inductor and capacitor they are clear to you now we'll move to the next that is transient analysis in transient analysis first order rc circuit and rl circuit you have to study so for that one case is the source free response and second case is the force response source free response means you have removed the source and force response means you have connected the source so these are the two cases same as we have seen earlier now let us see the first case of rc circuit rc response for uh, source free 
condition okay i'll switch off my video and i'll start now for this source free response of rc circuit let us say this is the circuit this is the voltage source and this is the rc resistance and capacitor network and this is the switch which was initially it is having two positions initially it was connected to position 1 and at time t equal to 0 we we'll change this position from 1 to 2 that means before time t equal to 0 this supply voltage or the source was connected to this rc circuit for a long time right and at time t equal to 0 we have switched this position from position 1 to 2 so what will happen initially the capacitor or this rc circuit it is connected to this voltage source that means you see if for a long time if a capacitor is connected to voltage source then it will act as if it is a voltage source right so immediately when we we'll move this position from 1 to 2 then also this capacitor will act as if it is a voltage source okay so uh, let us draw the equivalent circuit when uh, this uh, switch is at position 2 so uh, this source is removed now if source is removed it is only a rc circuit okay so this is rc circuit we have uh, i have drawn this equivalent circuit now at time t equal to 0 minus the uh, at time t equal to 0 minus this voltage source is connected to vc so charge on this capacitor will be v and since the capacitor opposes the instantaneous changes in voltage that means this uh, at time t equal to 0 plus also the charge on capacitor will be v itself right so the charge and capacitor at time t equal to 0 is v we know that if we we'll keep this position for a long time after infinite time it will definitely be going to settle down and whatever charge on this capacitor it will get discharged and it will go to zero value after infinite amount of time now say it is going to zero value after infinite amount of time the present charge at time t equal to 0 is v so how it will go whether it will go to go in a straight line towards 0 or it will move in a exponential line or it will move by a hyperbolic line or it will take any other path so for this purpose let us say we'll apply kvl for this particular loop so say this is the loop um current i is flowing in the circuit the voltage drop across this resistance let us say with this polarity as current direction is this the um, voltage drop across this is vr and the capacitor voltage is vc current i is flowing in the circuit now if you will apply kvl for this particular loop we know that voltage across this uh, resistor plus voltage across this capacitor will be equal to zero that is simply the kvl kirchhoff's voltage law now what is the drop across this resistor current i is flowing in that so i into r will be the drop across this particular resistor and what is the voltage on this capacitor it is vc right so i into r plus vc equal to 0 will be the equation now the same current current i it is flowing through the capacitor also and the capacitor current it is given by c is equal to dvc by dt now this substitute this value of ic as c dvc by dt in this equation so it is i into r that is c into dvc by dt into r plus vc equal to 0 so we want to find how this vc is uh, discharging from value v to zero that's why we have got now equation in terms of vc now rearrange the terms 
divided by RC, so you will get dVc by dt plus one by RC VC equal to zero. So this is the first order linear differential equation. Now if you have got a first order uh, linear differential equation of this form, let us say dy by dx plus py equal to q. If this is first order linear differential equation, where p and q both are the constants, that means they may be a constant which are independent, or they may be depending on this x. That should not depend on the y, right? So these time R C and all. What is this? What are is this coefficient p or this coefficient q? They should not be dependent on uh, v c. They may be dependent on time. But here in our case, they are totally constants. They are neither depending on y nor depending on x. So. The solution of uh, this particular uh, differential equation it is given by I F that is integrating factor into y equal to integration of integrating factor into q t x plus a constant value, right? Where I F is the integrating factor and it is given by exponential of power integration of p d x. So this integrating factor you have to first find out. Substitute in this here I F and here I F and solve this. This will give you the solution of that particular differential equation, right? Now here in our case uh, Q is zero because we have d V C by d T plus P is R by one by R C V C equal to zero. So here Q value is zero. So as Q is zero in this solution, you will find that this is something I F into Y equal to this integration into I F into this Q d X. So Q value is here. So as Q value is zero, this particular part will become zero, and it will become only a constant. So I F into Y equal to a constant value. So what is I F now? I F is exponential of integration of p d x. What is p value? P value is one over R C. So e raised to power integration of one by R C into d t. One by R C is constant. It will go outside this integration sign, and integration of d t it will become simply t. So this integrating factor will become your e raised to power one by R C into t. So it is. Integration of uh, sorry e raised to power one over R C T equal to uh, sorry into V C that is this I F into Y Y is V C over so e raised to power one over R C into T into V C is equal to this term vanishes so only a constant so uh, let us say constant is K so e raised to power one over R C into T into V C equal to K So V C equal to this term. You take it on this side. So it will be K divided by one over uh, e raised to power one over R C T. That is K into e raised to power minus one over R C T. Okay. So this is equation number two. Now to find the value of this constant, you have to apply initial conditions. So for here, it is. Uh, Something. So is it over? Hello. Yes, sir. Hello? Screen is not visible. Screen is not visible. Ah, अरे मैं lecture में जाए नंतर बोलतूँगा. Ah. Is it visible now? Are we? Yes, sir. Ah, okay, fine. So this V C is equal to. So we have seen till this V C is equal to K into. Uh, just a minute. I'll check whether uh, recording is going on. Okay, this cursor I'll take. 
Now Vc is equal to k into e raised to power minus one by R C into T. You got this equation. Now we want to find value of constant k. So how to find value of constant k? We can apply initial condition. So at time t equal to zero minus, as the circuit was connected to, as we have already seen, the circuit was connected to this source. So that means the supply voltage V was available on this capacitor. So at time t equal to zero, V C on the uh, charge on the capacitor was V. At time t equal to zero plus also then charge on capacitor will remain as V because the capacitor opposes the sudden changes in the uh, instantaneous changes in the voltage. Okay, so that means at time t equal to zero plus V C of zero plus is V. Okay, now substitute this initial condition in this equation so that this V C will become V K. Into e raised to power this t is zero now. E raised to minus one by R C into zero. That is e raised to zero, and e raised to zero is one. So k is equal to v. So constant value k it is coming as v. Substitute the value of k in equation number two. So you will get the equation of v C as v C is equal to v into e raised to power minus one by R C into t. So this is the uh, capacitor voltage. Uh, equation V C is equal to V into e raised to power minus one over R C into T. So which we were interested to find how this value of V will reach to zero. So it will reach by this equation. It will discharge with this equation. And if we plot this equation, then you will find that you substitute the value of T, uh, various values of T. So I'll mark this x-axis as time axis t. I'll substitute value of t at zero. If you put value of t at zero in this equation, you will find that it is coming as v. So v c is v. Mark this point. Then keep value of t as one, two, three, four, five, and so on. If you put put this value in this equation, you will find that this curve is of this nature, and it is the exponential curve. Okay. So that means this curve of discharging will follow an exponential curve for this voltage. If you will substitute the value of uh, this R C is your time constant, so you can substitute the value of R C as T. So your equation of voltage will become e raised to power uh, uh, this V C is equal to V into e raised to power minus T by capital T. Okay. Now substitute value of t in terms of this t. So if you will substitute it as capital T, then you will find that it is coming as 0.37. If you will substitute it as 2t, it will come again less than that 3t, less than that 5t. At 5t, it is coming nearly equal to zero. That means at time uh, uh, small t is equal to uh, five times the time constant capital T. The value of this uh, capacitor voltage it will become almost zero. Now, if we we are interested to find let us say capacitor current. So, how that capacitor current will be there? Capacitor current we know uh, the current flowing through capacitor is C into d V C by d T. That equation we already know. Then V C we have found out that is V into e raised to minus T over R C. Substitute this value here. So it will be differentiation of this. V is constant. You take it out. So V into C. So differentiation of e raised to power minus T over R C. So that is minus one over T uh, one over R C into exponential of minus T over R C. This C C will get cancelled. So it will be minus V by R into exponential of this. So this is the expression for I C of T. If you want to plot this I C of T. Again, you substitute the value of time as t equal to zero. You will find that I C of zero is equal to V by R minus V by R. So plot this point as minus V by R, and plot all the other points. You will find that again it is an exponential uh, increasing point, and it will reach to zero value. So this is the graph of uh, I C T, and previous is the graph of uh, V C T. Now. Similar, same we have uh, 
simulated in the same uh, our simulation software i have provided you this link you can go through this if time permit we go to directly to this link so um, uh, this is the link where you can directly go and see uh, this is the circuit which i have already built for you so this is the uh, switch which was initially kept at time t equal to zero, um, before time t equal to zero this switch was at this position this is position number 1 so that means the supply voltage was connected to this capacitor and the voltage on this capacitor was v so initially before time t equal to zero v was the voltage on capacitor so this is the uh, green one is the graph of vc and this uh, yellow one is the graph of ic capacitor current so capacitor current value is zero whereas capacitor voltage value is uh, v okay uh, now at time t equal to zero we have moved this posi uh, switch position from 1 to 2 that means we have disconnected this battery or this supply voltage source from this rc circuit and this rc circuit is now only rc circuit this with no source that is without source right now if this is the case at time t equal to 0 this capacitor voltage has started reducing and it will reach to zero value at infinite time whereas this capacitor current it was at uh, t equal to 0 it was having minus v by r value and it will reach to zero at infinite time so this is the graph now i uh, will switch over to our uh, this thing uh, so i have again stop the screen sharing okay so let us stick i'll copy this link first i'll put it here and then i'll share the Okay. Yes. So is it visible to you? I have shared my screen. Simulation yes, screen I have shared. Is it visible to you now? Are we? Yes, sir. Ah. So this switch. Now you can see. This is the switch. which is at position 1 that means this supply voltage is connected to this rc uh, rc circuit and this is the time time is going let us uh, wait for some time yes now you can see after infinite amount of time this top one this voltage where my cursor is there that green point uh, or green graph is of the voltage so i have uh, i am measuring i have, I have connected here uh, oscilloscope across this capacitor and you can see here green link so that green link shows the capacitor voltage so voltage is 5 volt uh, value also you can read on this and this is the current current is zero right now after infinite time let us say at time t equal to 0 now i am switching over this position of switch to this particular position now this is my time t equal to 0 you can see now capacitor voltage it has started reducing and it has gone to zero value whereas the capacitor current it has started from minus value and minus v by r value and it has gone to zero value so got this so this is the uh um, graph which i was interested to show you now uh, the opposite case you can see here if this was not connected to any source 
it is exactly this voltage and current both are zero and now i am switching it in opposite direction you will find that now capacitor voltage will rise from zero to v whereas capacitor current will go to v by r and it will uh, decrease from v by r to zero value right so this is the simple circuit now you are uh, facing some difficulty in this uh, you got this this switch you can find it from this in draw option you can go in this uh, um, the, the switches uh, passive components so in passive components you can get here the add switch push switch spdt that is single pole double throw so this is a spdt switch you can draw this so this is a spdt single pole this is only one pole and two throw it can be thrown in at two positions so it is single pole it is having only one pole this is the pole the portion which is moving it is a pole so it is only one pole and having two positions of switching so it is double throw it can be thrown at two positions so it is that's why it is called as single pole and double throw switch okay so you can take this switch you know how to take battery how to uh, find out capacitor and resistor you can draw it from add resistor here you can uh, add resistor and from passive components you can add here capacitor or inductor okay so these are uh, possible to you now how to find this graph so for finding the graph you go on this particular uh, capacitor first you have to select whether uh, you want to observe voltage or current if you want to observe the voltage then in go in this output or labels you want to observe output how you want to observe output on the scope probe means the oscilloscope or cro so you want either voltmeter or a cro probe so you select this cro probe so you have selected a cro probe and you will be connecting over it over here okay now after connecting it here you have to right click this if you will right click this mouse on this component you will find that here one option edit is there or view in scope so press this view in scope so you will be able to observe it on the scope right so i hope you will be able to find this or otherwise and if you want to uh, change this options if you are observing multiple channels of the cro then on this scopes you can give, go uh, stack all the channels or unstack all the channels if you want to combine all the channels if you want to separate all the channel so you can do all these things and you can uh, rearrange the circuit you can find uh, now i think uh, your difficulty of uh, observing this uh, rc or rl or rlc circuit will be finished uh, is it avi samajh le ka avi hi chadta nahi ka tumhara scope par disat na hota na so now you can try later on okay fine uh, time is uh, going away very fast so let us move to our uh, screen and change it again so uh, you got this i'll stop sharing this screen and i'll change the screen now
Yes. Now is uh, PPT is visible? Hello, guy. Yes. Yes. Ah. Ata, yes. Today answer may rahe tu mala. How to observe this? Okay. Now let us continue. Now let us see the source free response for RL circuit. For RL circuit, it is in the same manner of RC circuit. This is current source which we have connected to this uh, particular RL circuit for infinite amount of time. And at time t equal to zero, we have changed this position of switch from this one to two position. Now before time t equal to zero, that is at time t equal to zero minus. the current flowing through this inductor il it was let us say i the same source current will flow through this inductor so since the switch was at position 1 uh, this current i was flowing in this circuit at time t equal to 0 minus and as the property of inductor for sudden changes in this transients it opposes this changes and the um, it will act as if it is a open circuit that means whatever the um, uh, current flowing through this uh, um, at time t equal to 0 minus the same will flow at time t equal to 0 plus so il will become equal to i so this is our initial condition now with this initial condition we apply now uh, draw uh, redraw the equivalent circuit after a time t equal to 0 so it is only r and l circuit the drop across this r is vr the voltage across this uh, inductor is vl so apply kvl for this now again current value initially it is value of current is i and after settlement that is after steady state it will definitely go to zero value so this i value will reach to zero value in what fashion that will find so for that purpose apply kvl for that loop if you apply kvl it will be drop across this plus drop across this that is vr plus vl equal to zero that is i into r plus l di by dt equal to zero now we got the equation of i which we are interested to find so uh, divide by r uh, divide by l so it will be di by dt plus r by l into i into uh, i equal to 0 so this is also a first order differential equation of this form di by dx plus p into y equal to q q is 0 p is your r by l so the solution of this equation will become e raised to uh, that is integrating factor e raised to power r by l into t into i equal to k constant k so that means um, i is equal to k in k divided by this that means e raised to power k into my e raised to power minus r by l into t that will be equation of i now in order to find the again value of k you have to apply initial condition so what is initial condition initial condition is the value of current is i capital i at time t equal to 0 So substitute time t as zero and i uh, i l of t as capital i. So value of k constant k will become i. Substitute the value of i uh, k here in this equation so that you will get i value is i of t. It is equal to capital i into e raised to minus r by l into t. If you will plot this graph of i, then you will find that it is again. i is reducing in exponential fashion to zero with the time constant l by r now if you are interested to find the inductor voltage the inductor voltage is equal to l di by dt i value we have already found out i is i into e raised to power minus r by l into t so differentiate it with respect to time so it will be l into i into minus r by l into e raised to minus r by l t Okay, the so L L cancel, so it is minus I into R e raised to power minus R by L into T. If you will plot this graph, you will find that it is of uh, this nature. 
that is um, at time t equal to zero, value is minus i r, and it will increase to zero. That means this is the voltage graph, and the current graph is like this. So exactly opposite to that of the capacitor, uh, that is R C. So you can find uh, simulated the same circuit in uh, um, uh, tin url uh, dot com. So uh, this is the link. You can uh, put this link in your browser so that you will get this circuit which I already built for you. You can uh, take this is the position one where the supply voltage will be connected to this, and this is position two. If you will uh, switch this, uh, change this position of switch at time t equal to zero, then you will find that this inductor current is reducing. From this value of I to zero, whereas this inductor voltage it will uh, reduce uh, or increase from minus something to zero. Okay, so these are the graphs you can uh, find on this. So I hope uh, you understood this. This is the source-free response. Uh, why it is called as source-free uh, response? Because we have removed the source from that particular circuit at time t equal to zero. That's why it is a source-free response. Okay, so we have seen R L and R C both source-free response. Uh, tomorrow we'll be see, uh, studying the um, forced response. That is. If we are connecting now the source at time t equal to zero, then how the circuit behaves? So let us stop here today. Uh, I will stop recording first. If you have got any difficulties, you can ask.